die. At long last, the wait is over. A warm welcome to Wembley. This is Derek Ray, joined in the commentary box by Stuart Robson. And we're approaching kickoff time in what promises to be a spectacular FA Cup final. It is Chelsea up against Leeds United. Well, Derek, as a youngster growing up, this was the day that every young footballer dreamt of. Playing in the FA Cup final, walking out in front of 100,000 fans at Wembley, broadcast around the world, it still brings a tingle to my spine. And I'm really looking forward to this one. And a tidy challenge. Have no interest in losing possession. Plenty of options. And here's how it looks for Chelsea. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre-backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. No possibilities in the centre. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. Corner kick played in. And the problem not completely solved. And Kunku. That will chill well. Prime tackle there to prevent the chance. But you can tell what the fans think of that decision. They're certain it should have been a penalty. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. Well, he has to get his team plan again. This isn't going to plan. Well, back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Rhys James. Nkunku and playing it through and he's missed it good heavens well that's a big miss that should have been the equaliser by the keeper might give them a chance Sinistera Ethan Ampadu well it's a good looking position is there a goal in the future the is waiting in the centre well, the danger is still there Ampadu Good looking sequence this. Teamwork and passing in evidence. Well, I think a classic commentator's curse just then. Couldn't make the ideal pass. Adueke. Nkunku has it. Can he find the right pass? on the ball pulls it back it might be surely and thwarting his opponent in the nick of time and the corner played into the box and ably dealt with 
And with that, the first half comes to an end here at Wembley Stadium. away once more into the second half and from a Chelsea point of view it's all about battling back and Kuku can he get the level Have another look at this because he does really well to pick the right pass here then it's a top class strike from sterling his technique is absolutely spot on just look at the power he generates here back underway level pegging one goal apiece in this game the Elite United throwing. Can they get in behind them? Good work from Chelsea to win back possession. Nkunku. Three minutes to go then. Just the challenge that was required. position you've got to say Andre here not showing good patience but it was a good looking sequence but it comes to an end bodies forward and the break looks on substitution let's see about the delivery oh, good save. excellent header Sterling Reese James Kunku has it, still level, but Chelsea on the attack, near the end. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. Well, it was apparently a bookable offence. Well, no debate over that one, it's a yellow card all day long. Ah! And the play stop, they will make the change now. Promising pass. Well, that's how to shield the ball and control it. Mukuku. Might work out. Not out of the woods yet. Well, a save to be proud of. Well, he's pulled off a top pass save there at such a vital time as well. Sinistera. Nyonto. On the attack, is this to be late drama? And taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. And they're making a change. And over 
Here comes the corner. That is the defender doing his job, clearing it off the line. Well, that's it for the 90 minutes, but this is not over. And two 15-minute periods of extra time to come. So back in business here, the first period of extra time and it might well come down to mental fortitude. Who wants this more? Under pressure, doesn't seem to be bothering him and the challenge halts them in their tracks. Well, they might be able to launch a counter-attack. Ian Poveda. Ampadu. Pascal Strauch. Liam Cooper with it. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. A chance maybe from the wide position. Let's see about the cross. Half time in extra time and still they are level. Coming onto the pitch. And so the drama continues here. We're into the second period of extra time. come away with it progress made by Chelsea and at this late stage a goal could be decisive there's eyes for goal stopped a surefire goal Byron well five minutes remaining in this the second period of extra time Rutter moving into the advanced position. And he keeps going. Well, a fantastic final. And it's going to end in the most nerve-shredding way possible with a penalty shootout.
And now it is all about the penalty shootout. And he scores! Mental preparation is such a big part of this. A Panenka penalty and a brilliant goal. And confidently converted. And up he comes, doing his best to remain focused. And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. He had to score, and he does. Can he remain calm? Goalkeeper beaten from the spot. Clinical as always, in front of goal. Can he keep us cool? And he's beaten the keeper. So lethal in front of goal. You want a pressure cooker, this is it. He must score. been engrossing today such a tight game but you have to feel sorry for the losers they were so close but yet so far away and the party mode has enveloped the stadium it's going to be quite the night of celebration here special for everybody at the club what a great moment for any young player and this is what you dream about when you start playing football when you're playing in the playground you want to win a cup brilliant moment it's a special moment in the career of any footballer and now for the trophy lift itself the cup winners 